So I had a client today ask me about the best bras to use with heavy glass bottles. And I thought if I was gonna make it for her, I might as well make it and share it with you. So let's talk about this. I immediately reached out to one of my favorite companies, Davin and Adley, and said, hey, what's the best bra for a heavy flange kit and setup? And they sent me these two, so let's try them out. I've got the Amelia bralette on the mannequin now, and then we'll try the Riley, but this is what it looks like with just a regular plastic flange. Let's put a glass one on and see if any change happens. Okay, let's give this a go. A little bit of pull there, but I mean, this is a heavy flange setup. I also have the Dr. Brown's flanges on, which are super long, so it puts it away from the body quite a bit too. If you had a little bit shorter one, it may be better. And then with the suction to the breast, that's pretty good. Let's try a bigger bottle too. Here's a big eight ounce bottle. It's pretty heavy. Again, I have no suction and this mannequin doesn't have real skin. Let's try it one more time. That's pretty heavy. This is still one of the most secure bras. These holes are really small too, which is not really small, but it's nice. You've got double layers of fabric up top holding in there. Let's also try the big glass bottles on the Riley bra as well. That's beautiful. Wow. Here's just a regular flange. Again, I know it looks a little weird having that hole be small, but that's what you want, especially when you are having a heavy something like this. So there's that one. Just a tip, if your flange does come off like that, you can actually take off the shield and stick it in this way, which can sometimes be easier. So there you go. Okay, let's try a glass bottle on that. So again, you gotta take into account that this is a mannequin, <laughs> it doesn't have real skin, and the busts are actually, you know, they are what they are, but Let's try the small uh, four ounce, five ounce bottle. Let's see how that goes. Again, we're just looking for kind of how much it pulls it down when it's got the whole weight. You ready? That's not bad. The thing I like about this one is it's got that double, it's holding it with two different pieces there. Yeah, that's nice. Let's try it with the bigger bottle. This bottle is so big. Oof. All right, you ready? I love that little centerpiece. I think that's really helping in this, in this scenario. Yeah, so I mean, these are heavy bottles. Like it's just, it is what it is, but I think this is probably one of the best bets for you if you are using something heavy like this. That's not bad, All right? I mean, again, we don't have any milk in it, so once they do start to fill up, it's gonna get a little bit heavier even. See, there's the plastic one there. These are just heavy bottles, so there you go couple bras for glass bottles. Honestly, I think that's pretty good. The key here is going to be the right fit. So it needs to be really snug here under the bust. I actually measured this mannequin and she sent me this size specifically for, for this mannequin. And then it also needs to, you need to adjust these straps to be as, as tight as you can, especially if you want more holding here. So not only is a good bra fit really important, but we need to make sure we adjust it to fit our actual body while we're using it as well. Actually, while I'm here, the same client that's inside my program that I worked with before, we originally had her try this Amelia, oh gosh, I don't remember what this is, but beautiful little, I can't remember what it is, I'll have to put it on the screen for you. But because it has this under thing and I was hoping that this extra strap on top would kind of hold the flanges there. So I think what we'll do is we'll also try the glass bottles with this bra as well just to have a comparison because those other two i just showed you are really 
similar and were kind of meant to hold up better. So let's try it on this one just for a comparison. I think those other two were quite a lot better than this. Again, this bra is a little bit big for this mannequin, but I still think... plastic bottle. I mean, it has no milk in it, so it weighs nothing, right? Let's try this one. This is a glass bottle again. This is a heavy flange kit, okay? So it's gonna sag like that, but I think that other one had, it was more sturdy. So that's encouraging. So if I had to pick between these two bras for a big heavy flange kit, like maybe a glass one, I think I would go with the Riley. I think the lace is giving it a little bit more stability as well. Like it's not allowing it to stretch as much. But honestly, I think these have very similar openings. So I think you could go either way. What I did like about the Amelia bralette is the back coverage was extensive. So, and I think that's also gonna help keep it in place. If you have more, especially around the back, just gonna hold better. This one is obviously gorgeous, <laughs> but I think the, like I said, it just, it feels a little sturdier. So again, make sure you get the right fit. If you have any questions, reach out to Devin and Adley. They're really great to work with. If there are other bras that you want me to try and kind of explore with these glass bottles, these really heavy setups, let me know. I'd love to explore other brands. This is just one that I was familiar with and had heard good things about. So there you go.